almost a four, it's almost like a full orchestra, but not quite. Uh, well, welcome uh, everyone to uh, this very special commencement ceremony this evening. I'm Richard Davenport, uh, president of Minnesota State University, Mankato. I have to say, this is the first, first time we've ever done this uh, that I'm aware of. And I've been here 17 years, so I probably know. Uh, anyway, we want to welcome all of you, many, uh, many of your uh, colleague players, and we have families and parents here, and, and uh, this is a special night. It's a, it's a send-off to uh, these wonderful athletes. So uh, it's our pleasure to have a few others with us here tonight to celebrate the success of uh, these graduates before they leave town to represent Minnesota State University of Mankato at the NCAA <coughs> Division II football playoff semifinal game at Slippery Rock in the University of Pennsylvania. I've been told it's a little warmer there, so hopefully that will help. Our university's mission is really carried out by a team, a team of very, very dedicated leaders, some of whom <coughs> have uh, rearranged your schedule this evening uh, to join us here and to uh, uh, take part in this ceremony. So allow me at this time to introduce them. Uh, they're all standing, so I don't know how you're gonna know which one is. So if you would all sit down, <laughs> it'll be easier for you to identify them. And uh, I'd first of all like to introduce Dr. Matt Laosa, Dean of the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences. Remain standing, please, until uh, I name everybody, and then you can hold your applause until then. We have Dr. Aaron Budge, our interim dean of the College of Science, Engineering, and Technology. Dr. Brian Martinson, associate <laughs> vice president for faculty affairs, representing Dr. Brenda Flannery, dean of the College of Business, who could not be here with us today as she's in Finland with her daughter at some athletic event. And we have Dr. Matt Cecil, who is Dean of the College of Arts and Humanities. Uh, we're happy to introduce Dr. Christine Rutherford, who is Dean of the College of Allied Health and Nursing. And Dr. David Jones, our Vice President for Student Affairs and Enrollment Management. And of course, we have um, our Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Marilyn Wells. So uh, just a little note about Dr. Wells, it's not in the script, Marilyn. But I will just say that uh, tomorrow will be her last commencement here at the university as she takes a presidency at Penn State in one of their branch campuses, Brandywine, I believe. So uh, I know this is a special time for her as well. <clears throat> so please be seated. I would normally give you the hour and a half speech uh, but we'll cut that short tonight. <laughs> Our university is a, has a very rich history that spans, as you know, more than 150 years. We began as a normal school in 1858, and our first graduating class had 27 students. You know, that's a, a third of the size of our current football team, even less. So this Saturday, while you are uh, representing us in Slippery Rock, uh, we want you to know that we celebrate all of your accomplishments as well as those of thousands of your peers. And as you know, um, I will be mentioning on Saturday uh, all of you and the football game and the team during the formal ceremonies. And uh, uh, we'll probably have throughout the day probably 15,000 people here for the regular ceremony. So I know this runs a little bit short of the big ceremony, but I want you to know you will be recognized. And we appreciate uh, how you represent with such great class this university. But speaking of, stu uh, sp speaking of uh, students' accomplishments, I have uh, really just been so positively overwhelmed by our student athletes this fall. And as you know, we have a, a strong intercollegiate athletic program here and our student athletes perform extremely well in their sports that's almost a given if you look at our records but as the president more importantly uh, they are successful in the classroom as well and that's really special in fact our cumulative gpa or grade point average for our student athletes last 
spring was 3.26. Now I don't have the number to tell you, but I'll get it soon for uh, before Saturday rolls around. But that's higher than the overall student average, way higher than that. Well, what that says is that you are committed to your reason for being here to gain a, a strong education. At the same time, um, enjoying the sport that you're playing in. Each student that enrolls here comes with their unique story. And it would be great if we had enough time to hear all the stories from these gentlemen that are up front here with us. But also, each student leaves with a very special college experience. So I trust that your time here at Minnesota State University, Mankato, has not only been enjoyable, but I trust that you've also pursued your academic degree with the same vigor that you play in your sport, and that you're challenged, and that you felt challenged by your professors and classmates. And I have no doubt that you were challenged on and off the field in other ways, by your coaches, your trainers, teammates, and so forth. And I am confident that, as in most cases, but especially here at Minnesota State, that you have developed new friends, new experiences, new ideas, and skills along the way. And those friends will probably be friends for life. And while most of you are fairly young at this stage, uh, you'll understand more as you grow older, like me, how important those friends are. I hope you'll look back on your time as part of the Maverick uh, family fondly and that you'll visit us again soon and often. And so it is a privilege to be here tonight celebrating with you and your friends and family today. And I just want to say on behalf of the entire university, congratulations on your accomplishments and good luck on Saturday. All right? <laughs> So that's probably the shortest, you know, commencement speech I've ever given. So, you know, I know that's probably actually pretty good. But uh, we do want to make sure that uh, that we send these young men off with the spirit that we um, have tried to provide the education for, but also uh, getting ready for that big game. So I'm very pleased tonight to uh, have another person as part of our administrative team say a few words, and I think it's very appropriate at this point to welcome to the podium. Athletic Director Kevin Weisman. Let's give him a, a round of applause. Thank you, President Davenport. Um, President Davenport talked about how, how long his tenure has been here. Uh, I, I was his first hire. Uh, he hired me sight unseen. He said he'd never make that mistake again. <laughs> he didn't say that. But it's a special time here at uh, Minnesota State as uh, we approach the end of the semester, finals coming to a conclusion, commencement and the holidays right around the corner. Uh, as President Davenport alluded to, it's also been a very special time uh, for athletics. Uh, we've had just an outstanding fall. Uh, our soccer team uh, captured a regional championship in our new sports bubble uh, last Friday evening. Uh, unfortunately, uh, falling uh, to a very powerful Grand Valley team on Sunday. Uh, who uh, did advance today to the national championship. And of course, our football team uh, still playing. Uh, uh, very hopeful that uh, we'll have success out of Slippery Rock and advance to the championship. Hockey program also ranked number one in the nation. Um, so it's, it's with a lot of pride um, that I have the opportunity to oversee this uh, athletic program. Um, because as, as President Davenport often says, athletics is, is the window of the university. It's how others see us from the outside. And right now that view is very positive. Um, it's lifted the entire spirit of the campus. It's brought people together in a very special way. Uh, I wrote about it uh, in an editorial column uh, that appeared in today's Free Press. Uh, last weekend we had 11 events over three days. Um, it was a busy time. Lots of work going on behind the scenes. Uh, unbelievable level of cooperation that was required to move an NCAA soccer event um, from outside into a, a facility that we didn't even have binding insurance on and transfer of ownership. So uh, it, it, it's brought the campus together in a very special way and, and for that I'm very grateful. Um, when we talk a little bit about athletics, um, oftentimes we talk about sacrifice. 
and you guys are making a sacrifice this weekend, giving up uh, your commencement and then what could be, you know, sort of the walk of a lifetime. Um, certainly a, a very important goal, I think, when all of you came and chose here to come here to Minnesota State. I think you probably uh, envisioned your athletic success, but you always also probably envisioned that end goal of, of crossing the stage at, on commencement. Uh, but I'm sure that you'd rather give that up to walk with your brothers out in Slippery Rock this weekend. <coughs> and it draws us even closer to playing for a win where the greatness that could be achieved in a couple of weeks will result in a walk together forever. I would say that there's many positive attributes that come as a result of your experience as a student athlete that will translate very well and carry over and serve you well on life's journey, both personally and professionally. And I just want to talk about three things. I was thinking about this team and, and what I wanted to say tonight and these young men and uh, kind of got to thinking about an acronym, um, kind of capping off uh, your time here, capping off a great season. Uh, and so I'm going to use that acronym, CAP, C-A-P. And I'm going to talk about three attributes, um, uh, confidence, accountability, and poise. I think we could make a long, long list of attributes that uh, exist amongst this group up here and amongst uh, all of our Maverick athletes, but I want to just focus on those three. Confidence. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that at the top of the pyramid and sit, sit at the top um, uh, of a foundation on, on the pillar, pillars of accountability and poise. It's often been said that good luck is when opportunity meets preparation. And with preparation comes a high level of confidence. A feeling of self-assurance that comes with an appreciation of individual abilities and team capabilities. This team exudes confidence and it has all season. And it will serve us well in the weeks ahead. This is a characteristic that I believe will also help carry you forward on your personal journey. As great confidence leads to a high level of performance in the future. Now let's talk about those two building blocks, accountability and poise. As I said, uh, confidence sits upon these two pillars. Confidence is a result of a high level of personal accountability. This is something, as you recall, that we discussed at the beginning of the season when I said that maybe the most difficult opponent on your schedule could be yourselves. If you've proven me wrong and you've made that ultimate commitment and personal sacrifice and have ensured that no distractions from the goals and priorities that the team has identified uh, got in our way and is now within our grasp to take these final few steps. You're accountable to your brotherhood, but in the future, you will gain new teammates in the workplace. We're making a good impression by ensuring your personal accountability will also ensure your future success. Finally, I want to talk about poise. Like accountability, Poise contributes to a high level of confidence. Poise is about controlling the controllables, <laughs> ensuring that there are no distractions and that there's an undeniable level of focus. Each week we've talked about going 1-0 and now the ultimate prize is ahead. It's about calmness, keeping a cool head, persevering in the face of adversity, being able to control stress and anxiety <laughs> that have made you outstanding football student athletes and are also things that will serve you well in your life. So in conclusion, I, I could go on and on about just an immeasurable number of important attributes that make you both great as individuals and as, as a team. These are uh, transferable skills that transcend the sport of football and will serve you well in life. These attributes have been hallmarks of a successful career for all of you here as part of Maverick Athletics. They have also been characteristics of our highly successful season that we know has still a few couple weeks to go. They should continue to be the cornerstone of your success as future leaders both professionally and in your community as leaders. In conclusion, I want to offer my congratulations and best wishes for your continued success. Once a Maverick, always a Maverick. Horns up. And with that, I want to bring up head football coach Todd Hoffman. Thanks, Kevin, uh, Dr. Davenport, uh, deans, fellow faculty, uh, parents, students.
student athletes, Carrie, especially Carrie, helping guide these young men through their journey of their education. Mr. Beisman, uh, coaches, everybody who's here today. What a great honor it is to be a part of this celebration uh, of these young men. And <coughs> Kevin gave me two minutes, so somebody can start the clock now. Uh, the two minute drill, Carver's got it. Uh, but uh, what an inspiration these young men have been to us, uh, not only as student athletes, but also as football coaches. Um, part of the mission for our football program is to have these young men be great people, right? And a lot of that's done before they arrive here at Minnesota State, especially this group up here. Uh, it was an easy job to help mold and shape their character because they already had phenomenal character. From there, we asked them to be great students, and here they are today getting ready to move the tassel from one side of their cap to the other. And then also phenomenal football players. All these guys are you know, very special in their own right and uh, have represented Minnesota State with class. And I'm so proud of each and every one of you. And with your um, inspiration, I want to let everybody know here what their aspirations are to be once they leave Minnesota State. Ryan uh, Schlichty is going to uh, aspire to be a, a college football coach. So if you could stand real quick, Ryan. And then Shane Zilstra. He aspires to be a physician's assistant. Tyler Schmidt aspires to be a dentist. Alex Gettle aspires to be a physician assistant. Zach Robertson aspires to be an entrepreneur. Evan Heim <laughs> aspires to be a financial planner. Jack Curtis. Uh, aspires to be a CFO of a Fortune 100. <laughs> Nate Gunn uh, aspires to be in communications and uh, relations for medical uh, devices and sales in that area. Uh, Tyler, I apologize. I do not know what you aspire to be. Please let everybody know. Equipment manager. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Maybe, maybe Ryan will hire you. You never know. And then this guy can run your Division One facilities is what Justin Arnold aspires to be. So what a great group of young men. Uh, I wish you all the best. Uh, the season's not over. We have uh, some unfinished business to take care of. And hopefully we can represent the university with class, much like you guys have done throughout your journey here at Minnesota State. So my two minutes are up. Thank you all for coming, and I'll turn it over to Marilyn Wells. Thank you, Coach Offner. Uh, good evening, I'm Provost Marilyn Wells, and it is a pleasure to be here with you this evening. And it's really been uh, fun and exciting to plan this, uh, what I call Maverick Commencement Ceremony Moment. So, uh, You will notice our uh, student athlete graduates uh, wearing colored ribbons, medallions, and stoles distinguishing uh, their accomplishments. These are symbols of outstanding ap academic accomplishment. Uh, summa cum laude, magna cum laude, cum, uh, cum laude. The significance of each symbol uh, is explained in your printed program. Uh, we would like to take a moment to recognize these athletes. So will our honor graduates please stand and be recognized. <laughs> okay, y'all stand. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll recognize them a little later, but they're the highest of the highest in the GPA. Um, I'll also add that this is our very first commencement ceremony where we are having our baccalaureate graduates wear the purple academic regalia and with the uh, Minnesota State Mankato <coughs> logo on the sleeves. And so you'll see this for the very first time this Saturday. In the past, they've always worn black. And we also have the purple mortar boards and the purple and gold uh, tassels. So you're the first of the first. Uh, first will be Saturday and you're first here tonight. Um, so will all of our graduates please rise and remain standing. I'm glad they knew it was that. <laughs> uh, President Davenport, it is my privilege to present the candidates for undergraduate degrees in the disciplines in the College of Arts and Humanities, the College of Allied Health and Nursing, the College of Business, the College of Science, Engineering and Technology, and the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences. On behalf of the faculty, 
I certify that these graduates have met all university, college, department, and undergraduate requirements for the degrees to be conferred. President Davenport, it is my pleasure to present to you these members of the graduating class of the fall of 2019. Thank you, Provost Wells. By the authority vested in me by the state of Minnesota through our Minnesota State University Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the Bachelor of Science degrees from Minnesota State University Mankato. And now, uh, before you're invited to receive your diploma covers as official graduates of Minnesota State University Mankato, please move your tassels from the right to the left. If you already have it on the left, keep leave it there. So, it's official. Congratulate them, everybody. At the official move that determines that you are going to graduate. So we want you to know that we don't move the tassel until we're really sure. So you are all graduating. So please be seated graduates. And now uh, I'm going to ask Provost Wells to step back up to the podium again. And uh, we're going to be handing out the diplomas. <coughs> Graduates, I would like for you to uh, invite you now to uh, show your appreciation to your uh, parents, families, and friends who have supported you uh, throughout your uh, education. Give a shout out to them. <laughs> now, as your name is called, uh, please come forward to receive your congratulations from President Davenport and your uh, diploma from the dean of your respective college. Okay, from the College of Allied Health and Nursing, uh, Justin Arnold, Bachelor of Science in Sport Management. <laughs> Tyler New, Bachelor of Science, Sport Management. to have uh, Dean Cecil come up. Uh, from the College of Arts and Humanities, Nate Gunn, Bachelor of Science in Communication. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, now representing Dean Flannery, Associate Vice President Martinson. From the College of Business, Jack Curtis, Bachelor of Science in Finance and Marketing. <laughs> Evan Hine, Bachelor of Science in Finance. <laughs> Zach Robinson, Bachelor of Science in Management. <laughs> And now, uh, rep, uh, I'd like to uh, call up uh, Interim Dean Aaron Budge from the College of Science, Engineering, and Technology. Oh, big science, guys. Alex Gettle, <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Biology, Biomedical Sciences, who is summa cum laude and one of our presidential scholars. <laughs> in Biomedical Science and Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Shane Zilstra, Bachelor of Science in Biology, Cum Laude, and finished his last exam like, you know, 17 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Trust he passed that. Since that <laughs> uh, and now, uh, uh, Dean Loeza from the College of Social Behavioral Sciences. Uh, Ryan uh, Schlutke, Bachelor of Science, Social Studies Teaching, Summa Cum Laude. Oh. As the Chief Academic 
academic officer, I could not be more proud of these young men and the many, many faculty who have taught them throughout the years. Uh, so uh, now I'll call President Davenport back up. Thank you, Provost Wells. I hope you can appreciate that we're improvising here, that if you were at our regular commencement, uh, it would really be a little bit different, but we want uh, these graduates to experience um, this very unique commencement. So, um, really what I want to say is uh, to all of our guests and the graduates, uh, the ceremony is now complete, and um, i just like, again, to say uh, how really proud we are of these graduates. Very unique in their own right, very accomplished, and I know they'll go on to represent this university in the best possible way. So we're grateful for your attendance on such a short notice uh, today, and we can celebrate your, your, these young men's accomplishments as graduates of Minnesota State University. So I think at this point, we need to show them how much we really care.